This is a death left trend 6717 in its winter setup. It is the version with two single beds at the back, which you can join together. And I'm particularly interested to see in this wet winter situation. I was in Isni im Algoi, where Death Left's produced last winter, and it was there pretty cold. Uh, well, in January, I was also there in March, and it was really nice and warm. I could have stayed actually because it got pretty cold within three weeks in April. That was this year, 2017. Okay, this vehicle cost 60,502 euros. It's just under seven meters long, 696. It's 208 centimeters high and it's got a width of 233. Large garage at the back, you can get a bike in there and gas goes over there. Let's come inside and I shall sit down in my favorite seat down here. Now, as you walk in, you could, I suppose, almost miss the bed, which is up there, which is a good sign. If you miss it, it means you've got plenty of headroom. You've got headroom as you stand up from the drivers and the passenger seats. The table itself here is at its full length. It can't be extended, but it still is quite a large table. And uh, you can, I suppose, sit uh, quite, at least two, maybe even three people can sit quite comfortably around it. I'm going to stand up now, and just to give you an idea of the height, so I'm standing up under the bed, and there's approximately, I would say at the top of my head, around 187 centimetres of clearance, which is uh, enough for most people, but maybe if you're over that height, then you might have to think of something else. Let's have a look in here. Got a very conveniently located uh, wardrobe, and your fuse box is down there. I don't need why isn't the wardrobe any bigger because the bed has to come down so that indicates where the bed will come to that height so if you want to get in the bed you can go under the table and get onto that and put your foot in that chair and pull yourself over at the back we've got a double bed sorry it's two singles which can be made into a double bed i should say as always you pull this thing out that that, that cushion comes down here and that fills in there. On one side you have got more hanging space and an ideal location for putting plastic bags. And on the other you've got more storage and as you probably would have expected you've got the boiler down there. Taps and many vehicles. Here we have a tower fridge. Yeah. As a tower fridge, I'll look up, look up at it as though it were a tower. Let's come round, have a look more at the bed. Got this, these uh, lockers at the back, two of them, with uh, a white uh, gloss finish, and space around the bed. Keep books or other things up there. Would you prefer to have lockers or something like this? Obviously, this has got a bit of a ledge there, so you know you can leave, leave your book. Obviously, you can't have too many books. One thing I've been looking at in the time I've been here has been the question of uh, pressure, uh, how much pressure per square centimetre you can put on different types of wood, and will it bow or will it not bow, which is uh, very important and uh, interesting question for those actually making furniture for vans such as this. Right, let's have a look inside the toilet. So we've got a uh, toilet and uh, we've got a wall here that comes out. Now this uh, setup has been used by other companies within the Erwin Irwin Heimer group such as in Sunlight, such as in Etrusco. This comes out here, releases the false wall the wall goes over there, like that, and there you've got your shower unit. Now, personally, I prefer a thing that came out of there. Be, that way, you can sort of uh, see yourself as you shave in the in the shower. If you do that, of course, well, I do. Uh, saves me having to shave afterwards. Um, maybe other people don't do it so much, which is the reason why they've used that setup. Obviously, also when the uh, false doors back, you can sort of sit on there, the water coming on top of you, and get your feet clean. 
more storage on the left hand side here. Quite deep as well for a shower storage. Mirrors on both sides, there and there. Personally, I'm not so keen on this this shower setup. I don't think I've actually understood how it works. The, the, uh, anyway, that that's a part. As I said, I'd rather have just one um, uh, a water faucet for both the sink and the shower. Other than that, I think this is a pretty good van. I, I do uh, rather like it. Point out the bed. But often people ask me to show them how the bed works. And okay, um. A bit reticent to do that often because it's a trade fair and I don't, you don't want to break anything. But anyway, I can give you the idea. In this case, it's not going to work anyway because I'd need, I'd need the key and you press this thing down there and then the bed comes down, you press that one there and it goes up. But that's obviously off anyway, so uh, you won't see it. Uh, now, as it comes down, of course, it brings down the... There you go. brings down the lockers with it. And it comes that high. That means, of course, if the uh, the bed's down down there, that you can still actually get under. Should you want to get out during the night, I don't know what for, but uh, should you want to get out, you can do so still quite easily. Trend six one seven. And I've already shown you this, but I'll show you again. So, I don't know if you can read that or not. Possibly not focused correctly. I can't tell from in here. But 60 and a half thousand euros. I think it's a good value van. You won't find them on the, uh, uh, the second hand market though, yet, I would imagine. And that's how the Moscatiera comes across. Oh, and somebody else, actually, on, on the subject of things coming across, somebody didn't ask me to show how the blinds work. Well, if you've got a rail down here, and you've got, and, you've got a sec and these things here, you've got these things here come out, you press down there, and this comes out, and it joins together using magnets. And you've got blind, blinds there, and you've got blinds on the windows as well. Down here. Right, I think I said it was on a Fiat, but didn't, I'm saying it again. Six speed Euro 6 engine.